エクスプライナーは高圧電線の検査を目的として開発された反自立式のロボットです Nowadays, what people do is either they use helicopters to check the lines from the top, or they have to stop the transmission of electricity and send people to do this kind of job. So sometimes it's 80 meters, 100 meters above the ground, and the people have to walk on the cables and just inspect them by hand. So it's a very dangerous job, it's very demanding, and it's also very expensive to stop the transmission of electricity. So that's why we developed Explainer. With this machine, we don't need to stop the transmission of electricity. It can move on, on live lines. Here in Japan, we're using up to 500 kilovolts, but it could be used in 750 kilovolts, for example. So, the engine of the engine is a very good thing. The engine of the engine is a very good thing. There is a, a huge number of obstacles to cross. There are cable spacers. They are used to keep the distance between the lines constant. And those are still more or less easy to cross. But when we reach the tower, we have the suspension clamp, which is basically a metallic tool that is hanging the wires. And we have to find a way to cross that to continue to the next tower. So this is one of the strong points of Explainer. It was developed in order to be able to do some, we call them acrobatic motions, on the lines to overcome the obstacles and continue inspecting. So, for example, if we stretch this manipulator all the way to one side, we end up lifting the pulleys on the other side. By lifting the pulleys, then we can do those acrobatic modes I was talking about, rotate them outside or use them to overcome obstacles and so on. GPS 情報やタワーからの距離も記録されるため、欠陥の箇所を特定できるだけでなく、時間の経過に伴う劣化を負うことも可能です。検査後のデータは地上で自動的に処理され、錆、欠損、表面の損傷、内部の腐食を示す線の直径の変化などの異常については、要検査の警告が出されます。Based on this concept,、uh, operations based on works on the lines, not only inspection but really maintenance of the structure. But this is still under consideration. 2011年中に商業利用が開始される予定です。